Good morning. If you are a woman in British Columbia, I need you to listen to this very closely. It was the RCMP's response to this viral video that drew criticism. After asking people to stop spreading rumors about attempted abductions, they came out today apologizing for what was seen as an insensitive response. Certainly that language was not meant to dismiss, nor was it meant to upset or anger anybody. The posts have been shared widely, connecting recent cases of missing women and reports of attempted abductions by people in white vans. This one kind of, it hit a nerve just because like myself and I've had personal friends who've, you know, either have been harassed by somebody, stalked, followed home. Like there's been things that have, you know, happened, they've been reported to the police and it's kind of brushed off. Many of those sharing the posts also sharing their own stories. But on Saturday, the RCMP put out a statement asking people to stop spreading rumors, followed up by a clarification last night that they do take all investigations seriously. They may not necessarily be connected and I understand their perspective, you know, from that aspect of it, but I don't think it's fair to be so dismissive of it and say that, you know, people are fear mongering. Dismissed is exactly how many of those who work with victims of violence felt about the police response. What we don't want, I think, is for the police to be in a position where they're silencing uh, those that want to raise concerns, uh, but rather to create opportunities for us to discuss, which is a serious social problem. To a social problem that the police have a very, very bad track, rec track record, both in terms of how they investigate um, and whether or not victims and survivors are believed. You know, the idea behind issuing those statements was to try to alleviate some of the social media frenzy that was going on, trying, you know, really causing people great distress. The RCMP is now trying to reassure the public, saying they have looked into the cases of missing people and found no links so far. As far as abductions in white vans, they are investigating allegations of a man being forced into a white van and three other incidents. People reported a suspicious white van, but there was no interaction between the people uh, and the person inside the van. And so, I mean, there's, there's nothing to indicate that there was any abduction that occurred or even any attempted abduction occurred. Dr. Farah Shroff studies violence against women and understands why women feel safer sharing online with their friends, but worries fear could also keep women inside. It possibly and probably didn't take into account the severe PTSD that many women who have been violated experience on a day-to-day -day level. We definitely have a societal issue going on in general where women just don't feel safe. The woman who made one of the original posts declined an interview, but says she is glad the videos have sparked a conversation about the fears women are experiencing. Susanna Da Silva, CBC News, Vancouver.